Well, your final score once again, South Carolina defeating Toledo 5-3, to snapping the Walleye seven-game uh, winning streak overall. They were unbeaten in nine straight as well, tying their own record set earlier this season for the Toledo Walleye with a 8-0-1 mark over their last nine games. But that is snapped here tonight as we welcome you back inside the Huntington Center. Matt Melzack, Rob Brzezinski again. And Rob, as we take a look at the highlights from this game, I mean, this you, you told it to coach, and you guys talked about it. It was a playoff game from the word go. Yeah, and look right off the start. You know, Jeff Lurk made some fantastic saves, and uh, Toledo got some momentum off that. And uh, here you see a play in front of the net. A uh, couple of – you see that cross-check in Holmstrom, good discipline to keep his composure, led to a power play and led to the first goal for Toledo. Yep, as Toledo was on the man advantage, there it is, the one-timer from Joe Stasekel. Love the reaction as well from Joe, his first goal in a walleye uniform. And Toledo had a 1-0 lead after one period of play. Kyle Bonus would set it up for Justin Daniels, 2-0 Toledo. Great uh, individual effort by Bonus as well as Daniels to go hard to the net, and he was rewarded for that. And then just a simple little play like that from the point that gets deflected in the high slot. And next thing you know, it's 2-1, and South Carolina had a new life. If I had to pick a turning point in the game, it was right there, Matt. I would certainly agree with you. Them getting on the board uh, certainly made a huge difference in this hockey game and the way it played out. They would tie it uh, right there on that goal. Yep, just a, a, it hits Lurg in the shoulder and kind of trickles over and uh, just a, a chance there for Toledo to kind of bounce back. And there you see the, the, the puck that was blown dead. Blown dead, puck was still alive, lost sight of the puck. Yep. And, and South Carolina got a benefit of that call. Uh, and then there was the, the goal by Schwab. Yep, great goal there. Made it 3-2 Toledo. Uh, as you look at it again, Troy Schwab, very patient to get that one for Toledo. It looked like, okay, you know what? We've survived their comeback. But then a great play ahead, and Dubois finding his way into the back of the net. Yep, just one of those situations where you see Lurg, as soon as he got beat, he shaking his head. He wish he had that one back. And then, then here's the controversy right here. There, there's, there, you see the Lurg, as soon as the play was made, he's saying he got pushed in and goal was allowed to stand. Yep, and it was right there on the last one that pushed it in on Jeff Lurg, and uh, that's his complaint on the, uh, and then an empty netter from Rowe to cap it again there. Zarnowsen unable to get his stick free at that moment, Rob, and uh, there you go, 5-3 your final. Yeah, a bounce here, a bounce there. Could have been a, a different situation tonight, but uh, nothing to hang your head about. Uh, just got to pick it up and uh, see Evansville tomorrow night. Yeah, absolutely. You get the Iceman here at the Huntington Center. Uh, another puck drop of 7.15 as Toledo uh, wraps up the weekend with the Evansville Iceman tomorrow night. And that's it. This team has been so good all year. Only the one losing streak where they lost three in a row, Rob. That's it. Uh, this team has really bounced back well.